I'm Logan Crawford, and right now on Spotlight, I'm speaking with a very talented author. His name is Raphael Marti. He's taken a deep dive into the heart of Philadelphia with his hero, Nathan Christopher Stiles. Stiles is a battle-hardened U.S. Army veteran who is facing a new and enigmatic threat called fear. This gripping series explores the raw intensity of urban survival, challenges of loyalty, and the emotional turmoil of a soldier who is pushed to his limits and beyond. We are delighted to have Raphael join us here today on Spotlight. We thank the team at Atticus Publishing for helping us put him in the spotlight today. And we ask viewers like you to support writers like him by subscribing to our channel. Raphael, thanks so much for joining us here today on Spotlight. Thank you for having me, Logan. It's good to it's see you. You've got reason. two books in this series so far. You've got Phoenix Fear, which is actually the second book, correct? That is correct. And book number one is called? Phoenix Reborn. Phoenix Reborn. Okay, so why don't we start with book one first to give the audience a broad view. Tell them a little bit about Phoenix Reborn. Well, Phoenix Reborn takes place when uh, Nathan Christopher Stiles, the fictional hero in all fiction books, mm -hmm. um, was honorably discharged, but it was a medical discharge because of some experiments that occurred to him while in service, which caused a chemical imbalance in his brain. And he uh, got to engage in a perilous mission, but he doesn't know whether it's in his head or whether it's actually happening in real life. Very, very cool. And tell the folks a little bit about the adventures that he's involved with. Well, um, he's a former U.S. Army Special Forces operative. Um, and the reason why I chose Special Forces is because uh, I have the utmost esteem for them. I mean, they are the best of the best. They're the elite. Um, and you've got so a military I, I, background yourself, right? I do. Okay, I tell do. us I'm a little bit about that. I know I'm interrupting you with the story, but tell us about your military background. Well, I was the administrative and assistant agency security manager for a separate infantry brigade mechanized. Mm -hmm. uh, conducted counterintelligence operations um, and counter narcotic operations. So you've got real insight into what a guy like Christopher does for a living, right? To an extent, yes. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, let's say, okay, let's go back to what you were saying. You were saying Christopher Stiles is a, um, Nathan Christopher Stiles is a uh, hero, the battle-hardened U.S. Army veteran. Tell us about his adventures a little bit that he gets involved with in book one. In book one, um, he doesn't know whether the government is out to silence him or whether um, it's all in his head because of the mental illness that he developed that's connected to um, some experiments going awry by uh, rogue operatives mm -hmm. in, in the U.S. alphabet soup agencies. <laughs> Which is cool. It's almost like a little fight club aspect. He doesn't know what's real and what's not real. Really? You know that is I mean? true. Yeah. That is true. Absolutely. And now you pick it up in book two, Phoenix Fear, and you introduce us to fear. What is fear? F-E-A-R. Uh, they're the freedom empowered active resistance. Mm. And that's what fear stands for. That's what their yeah. acronym stands for. Yeah. They're, they're um, an anti-government uh, coalition, if you will of people who are not happy with the way the government's going and uh, they're extremists. Right. They're white supremacists. Right. And it kind of fits into today's narrative because you've got a lot of people left and right who are rebelling against the government, who would like some kind of revolution and uh, are extremists, right? That is true. Yeah. That is true. Um, 
nowadays uh, the social political climate is uh, a bit unstable, I, I think, in my view, as yeah. far as the people, the way they're reacting. Um, they're reacting like a party is their identity as opposed to working together as Americans, um, united. You know, I, I have friends on both parties in, in politics mm -hmm. and um, and I see them work together well. You know, so what sometimes is purported out there or reported out there um, doesn't always fit the reality of local government or county government. Yeah, absolutely. Tell me why you decided to choose Set Your Stories in Philadelphia. Well, um, I lived in Philadelphia um, back in the 90s. Uh, I, I lived in Horsham, and then I, I moved to uh, Auburn Park in, in Philadelphia, a uh, historic German town uh, right near Manor Young. And um, I fell in love with the city. I think it's a beautiful city. Um, and I felt like everybody writes about New York, New York, New York, New York. I said, <laughs> why not give Philly some props? Yeah, exactly. And it's also more of a gritty city than New York. So that kind of makes it cool. It's also the birthplace of our nation, where if you're having, you know, this extremist group seeking a revolution uh, based in Philadelphia, it's kind of cool because that's where the first revolution took place. So uh, I think it works on a lot of levels. Have you envisioned these books as films or a series, perhaps? Uh, I envisioned them initially as a series. Mm -hmm. um, there may be a third book in me yet. Um, now, as a series and as a film, I, um, I have a screenplay based on Phoenix Reborn written by Sean M. Dune, which I retained the copyrights to. Wonderful. Um, he was work for hire. Uh, and it's based on but it's not the actual book it takes you back to his uh it takes you back to Nathan Christopher Stiles days and operations as a soldier and then it leads you to the present day sounds great it sounds like it would make a great movie I think the books would make great movies or series uh, they're very visual, they're very now, they're very contemporary. They hit upon a lot of the uh, issues that America is confronting right now. So it's perfect. Now, the big question is, Christopher Nolan calls you. He wants to direct it. Okay, Raphael? He wants to know who you want to play Nathan Christopher Styles in the movie. Who's your actor you're going to choose? Don't choose say... me because I know you'd be biased. <laughs> But choose another actor. I would say Oscar Isaac. Oscar Isaac, okay. I saw his performance on the series, the Disney Plus series of Moon Knight, um, where he played someone who had mental disorder. Mm -hmm. um, and he played that character to the T. And uh, he fits also the visual images that I have of Nathan Christopher Styles, because Nathan Christopher Styles is um, uh, Caucasian, but also Puerto Rican by on, on his mother's side of the family. Right, and also he needs to be physically imposing, so that kind of fits as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's done he's done other films that he has played a paramilitary role or military role in. I can't think of the titles offhand, but I've seen them. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Is there a message that you're trying to convey to readers with your books? Is there something you want them to know or realize or learn? Yeah, there's really only one race, the human race. Yeah. Um, we're all in this together. we got to learn to come together. Um, and it's not about party lines they don't they shouldn't define us what should define us are 
our goals. And I think we all have the same goals in mind. Um, we want our children to grow up in safe neighborhoods. We want them to have a good educational system. Um, freedom of religion. Um, but let's not mix church and state and, you know, just go back to the core roots of what our founding fathers wanted. Exactly. We want traditional American values. We want people to be able to disagree without hating each other. We want people with differing voices to be heard, even if their opinion is not the same as ours. It doesn't mean they're wrong. It doesn't mean they should be canceled. It doesn't mean they should be silenced. Great books. The latest book is called Phoenix Fear. It is written by Raphael Marti. You're gonna to wanna to read both books in this series. They are exciting, they are contemporary, they are now, and they he really has his fingers on the pulse of America, and he has written it from the knowledge of a U.S. military veteran, which of course he is. And you will love the character, Nathan Christopher Stiles. Raphael, thank you so much for joining us here today on Spotlight. Thank you for having me, Logan. It was my pleasure. Lots of fun talking to you, my friend. And to the folks at home, I'm Logan Crawford, thanking you for your time this time. Until next time, on Spotlight.